House Speaker Martin Romualdez seems unfazed by the apparent cooling of relations with the Senate regarding the push for charter change or cha-cha. The leadership of the House of Representatives remains hopeful that the two chambers of Congress will unite to amend the Constitution for the further growth of the Philippine economy. This is the Speaker's response following the Senate's opposition to the People's Initiative campaign for cha-cha. That is also the right, di ba? Eh, sa kanila naman din yan kung anong sasabihin, di ba? That is the freedom of expression. I respect always the opinion of others. I may not necessarily agree. I'm ready to work with them hand in hand. As I said, we are ready to embrace the resolution of both houses. And I'm already telling everyone here that this is a welcome development. If the House and the Senate can work together in unity, because that has always been the message of the President. Meanwhile, Albay 2nd District Representative Joey Salceda revealed that the Advocates of the People's Initiative, or PI, have already reached 12% of the required signatures nationwide concerning the proposed amendment to the 1987 Philippine Constitution. This includes the 3% of signatures needed in each district. We have already um, reached the mandate of the people. So the constitutional, the constitution should operate as provided. He mentioned that the filing of the petition will soon follow and the submitted signatures need validation from the Commission on Elections or COMELEC. This is despite the signed manifesto by senators opposing the proposed People's Initiative and the joint voting of the Senate and the House on amending the Constitution. The lawmaker also responded to allegations against the People's Initiative campaign. Mandali naman po talagang mag-name mag, uh, mag calling, di ba? Pero yung 12.1% of the population that signed on, I think uh, masyado naman mababaw tingin mo sa mga taong ganun. Hindi mo basa-basa mapapapirma yun. On the other hand, Albay 1st District Representative Ed Selagman believes that the issue of charter change or cha-cha has become a cause for discord between the House and the Senate. He insists that the Supreme Court should resolve whether the two chambers of Congress should vote jointly or separately on amending the Constitution. He emphasizes the need for President Bongbong Marcos Jr. to intervene and find a solution, redirecting the attention of the executive and legislative departments to the crisis in the economy, food security, inflation, and other issues the country is facing. He also emphasized that the 1987 Constitution should not be blamed for the country's crisis, but rather the flawed policies, skewed implementation of laws, corruption, and other factors. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.